Let's speak to Mickey Bergman, Vice President of the Richardson Center for Global Engagement. He's negotiated directly with North Koreans before and has worked with Governor Bill Richardson, who was the U.S. Special Envoy to North Korea. Good to have you with us. So uh, I know that in the run-up to this meeting, uh, you were saying that you thought uh, it was an important meeting, but you didn't think Kim Jong-un would ultimately give up his nuclear arsenal. What do you think now? Unfortunately, I think it, I still think the same. Uh, what we saw in this uh, uh, summit, beyond the theatrics, uh, is, is really when we move the, the theatrics around, we see three elements of this. Number one, uh, we saw a joint statement about denuclearization. It's an aspirational one. It's one without legs, no mechanism, and no time frame for implementation. But it's important. It sets the tone. It sets the relationship between them. Number two, we saw the opening of negotiations. And that's the substantive part. And Donald Trump will call it denuclear denuclearization. But in fact, this is going to be about freeze for freeze, uh, the North Koreans giving up the further development, testing, and proliferation of nuclear and ballistic missiles. But they will not disarm their existing stock stockpiles. And third, we saw the, a, a, a couple of humanitarian gestures, mainly the recovery and, re, and return of American remains from the Korean War. The most important part okay, is so, the two leaders. So, what does North Korea get them. out of this? I mean, why agree to a meeting if they're not prepared to give up their arsenal? What's in it for North Korea? Oh, the North Korean proposition uh, is the same one that has been there for 15 years. It's just that Donald Trump is the first American president to accept it until now. Uh, the North Koreans are not lying. Um, uh, when what they are proposing in this proposition, they are willing to do. But it is very unrealistic when it comes to denuclearization of the peninsula. That means not only denuclearizing North Korea, it also means denuclearizing all of the U.S. assets in the region, not only in South Korea, but in Guam, in Japan, in the oceans, reducing American presence uh, to an unthreatening level by North Korean standards. That's not happening anytime. Okay, so you, you've talked about the fact that it, there is a start or there will be a start to negotiations going forward. I mean, can that be built on? Do you see a momentum continuing, even if the, the final goal isn't quite what the world will be hoping for? Absolutely. And I actually think that what we saw yesterday was a success. I don't think that the fact that the North Koreans are not eventually going to denuclearize makes this deal a no-go. I think the deal that is on the table is worthwhile. So I think negotiations are important. We need to continue with them. We need to push through them. There's a lot of things to be achieved on a freeze-to-freeze, -freeze, on, on getting North Korea to give up their the further development. This is extremely important. Great to speak with you, Mickey. Thank you very much indeed for that. Uh, Mickey Bergman there in Washington, D.C.